got your mail again. Looks like you're gonna answer a chick because I know you got mine. So you know what that means. Shopping! Disqualified. Mmm, that's not so good at all, girlfriend. You should go check that out. My car broke down. Will you take me? Sure, you pay my gas. Seriously? No, just kidding. Just get ready and we'll go. Alrighty. <laughs> You have to also be checking your district issue email because that's the way we as a district are communicating now. Okay, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Can I help the next student? Um, I received this through the mail. What does it mean? What is your student ID? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> this letter was sent to you to inform you that you were placed a disqualification. What's that? You were placed on disqualification because you did not meet the SAP policy requirements. So basically, it breaks down what you need to actually do in order to maintain your eligibility for financial aid. Is this something new? No, this policy has always been in place and you can view it at the Really College website under the financial aid department. Uh, I'm not getting this. You must have at least a 2.0 GPA and an overall completion rate of 67% of which you have attempted. And if you do not meet those requirements, you must have an extenuating circumstance that can be documented. Attempted? Completed? Mm, what's the difference? Attempted are the units that you signed up for and did not complete, and completed are the units that you actually passed with the passing grade in either Fresno City College, Wheatley College, Oker Center, Willow International, or Madera Center. So to give you an example, if you attempted 12 units and only completed six out of those 12 units, you have completed 50% and that doesn't give you the 67 that you need to meet the SAP requirements. Is that it? No, you will also have a maximum time frame to complete your degree or certificate. You guys never even warned me about this. Have you checked your school issued email? Um, no, I haven't. We do inform all the students about their academic standing through their district email. So if you can't activate it, you can actually call 559-442-8236 and they can assist you with that. So how often do you guys check my grades? We check your status after the end of every semester after grades are posted. So now I don't qualify for anything? How am I supposed to come to school if I'm not getting financial aid? You do qualify for the Board of Governors fee waiver. As for the books for your classes, most of the instructors do provide them in the library. Okay, so am I always going to be on disqualification? It depends. Do you have an extenuating circumstance? I was having transportation issues. My car broke down just when the semester had begun and I didn't really have a right to school anymore. Would it be for pregnant? Based on what you told me, that is not an extenuating circumstance that was out of your control. So I don't have any other options? I do recommend you to see a counselor so you can develop a plan with them and that might help you do good in your classes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Come on, Prayers. <laughs> I feel. And I am so glad we went and talked to her. She really cut that up, and I need to get my email off. Yeah. This is what I need to focus on now. You find me cute that you can go. Oh, I actually have to go back. I have a text message from Stephen. Why? He wants me to get my graphing calculator and I need it, so. Okay. You got it? Yeah. I'm ready. Oh. There he is. <laughs>
Finally, Steven. Hey, hey, what's up? Nothing much. We just came through financially. Thank what are you, you watching? Oh, it's just some video me and my friends made last week on the SAP policy. Can we watch it? Sure. Your crew don't know jack about financial aid. Get your facts straight. Say what? All right, here's the thing about responsibility. You gotta check and see what affects your eligibility. Here come the various factors that you really should act on. It's gonna screw with your mental stability. You got your GPA, FASPA's MIA, INS, how's it confirmed your stat? What's your other cost transcript now? Can't pay the student loan, better pick up that phone. Alright, y'all are not explaining all this logically. You gotta break it up, explain it chronologically. What are the basic standards that a student must grasp on in order to keep that flow of money mobility? 2.0 is what we're looking for. You gotta choose your major before we pay ya. You gotta be right with these up out players. Stop! Why are you guys making a video just to help students understand the SAP policy? Here's what you need to know if you're a student within the State Center Community College District. Activate your school issued email account today and check it often. If you want to know all about the SAP policy, read it online. Turn that camera off.